I would like to welcome everybody to our 40th anniversary installation dinner of East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two. Good evening and thank you to everyone uh, who could join us tonight as we install our officers, but also to celebrate the 40th anniversary of East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two. Uh, as many of you know, uh, my name is Mike Chris Molly. I'm, I'm entering my eighth year of service uh, with this department. And while we're not without our challenges, like any family, we have our ups and downs. Uh, but I couldn't be more proud to be part uh, of this organization. Um, tonight we will celebrate and have a good time enjoying each other's company. Um, but I would ask that we all remember the uh, men and women who have come before us, including their families who sacrificed so much to make our department what it is today. Um, especially our charter members, for if not for them, uh, we wouldn't be here tonight. Uh, so before I turn the mic back over to, uh, to, to Mario and Ben, um, I just want to offer a quick prayer and share one verse with you that I think is appropriate for tonight. So please bow your head. Lord, we, we thank you for allowing us to share this special night with friends and family and ask that you continue to watch over us tonight and beyond. Please, please protect all first responders that they may continue to stay safe even in the face of great danger and help them to make it home to their loved ones each and every day. Amen. And finally, I wanted to read this, uh, this short poem. This was written by Edward Crocker, who was a fire chief in New York City in the early 1900s. The title of it is, To Be a Fireman. I have no ambition in this world but one, and that is to be a fireman. The position may, in the eyes of some, appear to be a lowly one. But those who know, <clears throat> excuse me, but those who know the work which a fireman has to do believe his is a noble calling. Our proudest moment is to save lives. Under the impulse of such thoughts, the nobility of the occupation thrills us and stimulates us to deeds of daring, even of supreme sacrifice. Thank you very much and enjoy your evening. A few months ago, we had a loss in our company. One of our charter members started from the beginning. I'd like to honor charter member Gary Mortman for like a minute of silence. Thank you. <clears throat> Just a few more people we want to recognize. Um, these are uh, life members of Station 46. I um, believe, I think everybody's here. Uh, first of all, Michael Schiffman. <clears throat> Murray Mitlowski. Junis Jones. Marcin Simek. And the following four people are also life members, uh, still active members with the company as well. That's Tommy Ortega. Uh, <laughs> Mark Cohen, and for the second time, Bill Welling, and last but not least, Tracy Anthony. <clears throat> Finally, I'd like to ask all current members of Station 46 to please stand and be recognized tonight. Thank you very much. Stand by for installation of officers. Um, before I do this, let me just uh, take the opportunity that I get at the beginning of the year with all of you here as a captive audience and all of our fire company volunteers and support folks here uh, to once again uh, tell you how grateful we are in East Windsor Township for the great job that you do all year. Uh, you make yourselves available. Uh, to do whatever training you need to do to update, uh, upkeep the uh, facility, the equipment, uh, and uh, of course to make yourselves available 24-7 uh, to come out and to respond to calls within our community and within our area. 
Uh, and it means uh, obviously a tremendous amount. It's an invaluable service to our residents and our businesses that you're willing to take that kind of time uh, and to do that kind of super community service. And I also want to um, take the opportunity, uh, uh, I only get to do it at these couple installation dinners when I have the chance to be with the neighboring companies as well and to um, thank uh, certainly our other fire company, uh, volunteer fire company number one and Chief McCann and President Israel and all the other mutual aid companies, Hikestown and the surrounding areas uh, for the uh, tremendous service that you provide to us as well. Uh, being a fire company volunteer is uh, kind of a family affair in all respects and you're all part of our family and we thank you so much for being there for us and uh, we uh, of course hope that we are always there for you as well. So thank you for all of our um, uh, uh, mutual aid companies. Let's give them a hand please. And then once again, I just want to give my uh, deepest uh, gratitude to all of our volunteer firefighters uh, uh, for all that you do all year, and certainly for the leadership that steps up and uh, provides the extra commitment, the extra time, uh, and the extra needs to make sure that everything is uh, run properly and uh, provides that kind of outstanding, skillful service. So uh, we appreciate that, Chief, President, and all of our other officers uh, uh, throughout the year to us, so thank you so much. Okay, so if you would raise your right hand and uh, repeat after me, I and say your full name. Do solemnly swear that I will uphold and support the Constitution and bylaws of the East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two, the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and of the United States of America, and then I will fulfill the duties of my office to the best of my ability. So help me God. Good. Congratulations and thank you. The first award that I have the pleasure of giving out every year is the President's Appreciation Award. And this award goes to an individual that has helped out tremendously, um, that has had a great work ethic from day one, and works on behalf of the company tirelessly to help us accomplish our goals in the past year. And this year, the President's Appreciation Award goes to Chief Mario Batista.
and support company number two. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd also like to recognize our sister company, I'd like to call now, High Sound Engine Company number one, I would like to call Chief Scott Jenkins. <laughs> and again, Chief, thanks for all the time and all the calls you supported through the year. Thank you. Another company is not directly neighboring us, but they do come to our aid. I'd like to call Cranberry Fire Company, Chief Michael. Chief, again, I'd like to thank you for all the aid and support. At this time, I'd like to recognize some of our members, members of company number two, that recently joined the company in the year 2016. These are individuals, they were regular citizens, and they came and joined our company to help their fellow neighbors and the others they don't know. At this time, I'd like to call Firefighter Robert Lang. I like to call Firefighter Luanza. Firefighter Eric Ocho is not here with us. But I would like to recognize him. I would like to call Firefighter Orlana. <laughs> Firefighter Dylan. And Firefighter Guzman is not here with us today, but I would like to recognize him. Thank you. These individuals not only dedicated their time, they learned from most of us, and also they went to Fire Academy and they graduated Firefighter Dillon or Alana. At the present time, we have two rookies are going to the academy. We starting, actually, they started today, one of them. And Mr. Lane will be starting next week. I wish the best, and I hope you graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I would like to introduce firefighters that have been in the company for the past five years. At this time, I'd like to call firefighter Kevin Affleck. <laughs> Another 15 years. Also, just became a life 
a member. These men, I was a member of the company. I had to separate for a few years. I came back and he was here. <laughs> I call him Poppy. It's an honor to present his 15 years of service to Tommy Ortega.
this year we gave each responder a jacket with their name on. Next firefighter with 116 calls. Now, I'm going to call him a kid, and I hope I don't take offense to calling this firefighter kid. He's a dedicated firefighter. He started the company the, the year prior I came back to the company. And since then, from the past chief, Ganti, I was told he was a very dedicated member to the company. Here's a, a member that also is a full-time student. Being a full-time student, he still made his top 10 responders. Every time he's on vacation, he comes up on, on the weekend, he's on the truck. I can't get rid of this kid. <laughs> I would like to call now firefighter Josh Hall.
and our top responder. And I'll save you the story about Mario. Anybody who knows Mario, I'm pretty sure you have a story. Um, the top responder with 229 responses, Chief Mario Batista. Selecting one of the firefighters to represent the entire department as the firefighter of the year is no easy task. Throughout the year, a collaboration of hard work from the entire roster of full members and is what it keeps the department running. This year, our firefighter of the year was nominated by his fellow firefighters in recognition of his dedication as a member of the East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two. Firefighter of the Year is just not just about who made the most calls or who made the most thrills. Because of the training and answering to calls is part of the job. It is a special recognition for someone who has done and gone above and beyond the oath in dedicating themselves to and helping the department and others. Often people who are put in the leadership capacity, I'll work a lot. For this type of recognition, because they have accepted a little bit more of responsibility and the workload, which comes with the title. This year, our firefighter of the year is someone who has selfless dedicated himself to the company. And for the past eight years, his work behind the scenes, his hard work has been the driven force in helping us to reestablish and rebuild the executive branch of our department. During his eight years of service, he has proven himself as someone who is consistently looking to better his skills as not only a firefighter, but one of our leaders of our company. In 2016, Kui had been by far one of his busiest years as the firefighter, but he completed his incident command classes. He has become a qualified pump operator. He's been serving as an engineer, and also he's continued his firefighting education with extra courses at the fire academy. He's served in numerous committees within the department. He served as an executive board member and earned himself a position as a top responder. On the personnel level, this firefighter is someone who has adopted and embellished the brotherhood mentality, which we know as firefighters. He is eager to learn new things always willing to teach others, and always the newcomers is always there to teach. He approaches being on the drill ground or in the fire scene as an opportunity to build on his experience. Our fire department 
is better placed because of all his efforts. At this time, I'd like to recognize Firefighter of the Year for 2016, our engineer 461, and our president of the company, Benjamin Trump. This documentary is 
a half hour long, but we're not going to show it tonight, obviously. So what we did was to put together a preview, like you see a trailer at the movie theater. And uh, you'll see the full length program this fall uh, in November, because that's close to the November 9th incorporation date when East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two became second to none, even though the first cake said second to none. I think they thought we lived in Alaska or something. Anyway, roll tape. This building was where we started. This building was added on. If you walk in that building now, it's kept immaculately. Uh, the people that are there now appreciate the people that built it. They appreciate what they built for them. And they take care of it, they grow it, they add to it, they buy new equipment, they train. So it's just evolving and, and it's, it's a good evolution. But I'm really proud of this place. I'm proud that they're still doing the things that they're doing, that they've managed to survive. Uh, in an era that volunteer fire companies are really, really struggling. And, and if people see this and appreciate that, any help that they can provide them, whether it's coming down and volunteering some time, some financial support or whatever, these guys deserve it. They do a hell of a job and get very little for it. This is not the story about burning buildings. It's about the people who go inside them. It's not a story about car wrecks. It's about the people who respond to help. It's not about those who shy away from a problem. It's about those people who head directly toward it. Who are they? Well, you'll find out that they're your neighbors. Neighbors who will risk their lives to save yours. And they've never even met you. Who are these people anyway? And why do they do what they do? It is a service to the community. I like always, since I was a little kid, I was, I grown up in the fire services. My father was a firefighter back in the day. Um, I like to help people. One of the reasons I do it is to be a good example for my children, uh, be a good example for, you know, my family. Uh, feel like I'm doing something for the community, and you know, that's that's pay enough for me. Volunteering, I guess, in service is just in my blood. Um, I work for an agency that's a social service agency, so a lot of times, you know, I, I kind of thought about what I could do in my own community to uh, contribute and make a difference. We help each other. They call me Pops, and uh, tears come to my eyes sometimes when I think about it because I, I see these guys grow. And uh, our deputy chief was a junior fireman when I first came here. And we had an ex-chief that was a junior fireman when, when I came here. And it's, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. This is the first place I lived that did not have a paid fire company. I was in my middle 40s, was riding my bicycle, and, and I stopped by and I said, do you have an upper age limit? And he said, no, and I said, okay, give me an application. So it's something I wanted to do for a very long time. Sometimes it's a very thankless job, but deep down you know you're doing something good for one, your community, one for the people who believe in the fire company, no matter who it is, they look at the fire company, not so much the people. It's my fire company, my town, you know, and that's what it's all about. You want to get out to the public to do 
community stuff and get them to be aware that we're volunteer and hopefully that that will bring more volunteers in because some people think we're paid so to have the volunteers is a phenomenal thing plus it saves everybody a lot of money on their taxes you get a lot of thanks for people for your service last week we conducted a boot drive and I heard that a lot you know thank you for your service we really appreciate what you do I think that a lot of people even living in Twin Rivers still don't realize that we're a volunteer fire department. You have people that move in, they, they say, volunteer, you don't get paid, you do this for free? And then I tell them, yeah, we do. You know, we do it because we want to help our neighbors and our community. We're rooted into our purpose here on earth is to serve others, you know, and we get so much and we don't really question it, so it's the least you could do is give back in some way. It's a special feeling, and I don't think you're born with it. I think you have to in, kind of inherit it a little bit after you've been in the fire company for a while. Uh, but then you'll get to, to know the feeling itself, and, and it stays with you. This is all about protecting the residents of East Windsor. The people, the house that you're actually going in, they're very thankful. They're scared, but they're thankful. You know, <laughs> but there's all types of, you know, there's people who, when you come into their house, don't get my floor dirty. <laughs> watch, your, watch your boots. Uh, don't knock over my, my china and stuff like that. You get all that kind of stuff too. But more, for the most part, people are very thankful. Um, you know, they, 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 they just feel that they're safe. It's the best club in the world. Come, you'll serve your community. You'll have great feelings. You'll make new friends. And, and it's something that will be with you for the rest of your life. It's about community involvement. It's about education. And yes, even East Windsor is not immune to that frantic call my cat is stuck in a tree, please help. In this case, the frisky feline found himself stuck in the crawl space. With firefighter Jacob Zazdell to the rescue, armed with a tuna flavored treat. Kitty and owner reunited. Happy ending, the best kind. Coming this fall, the full inside story of Station 46. East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two, second to none. Watch for it on Comcast Channel 27 and Verizon Channel 38. Happy 40th anniversary, Station 46, and thank you for your service. On behalf of the officers and members of East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number one, your sister fire company, we want to congratulate you on 40 years of service to East Windsor Township. It's been a pleasure serving side by side with you and we wish you the best going into the future. Congratulations. On behalf of the Heights Town Fire Department, we want to wish Station 46 a happy 40th anniversary and we wish you many more. Congratulations to the East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two on 40 years of service to the East Windsor community. On behalf of the men and women of the East Windsor Township Rescue Squad, District 1, I'd like to congratulate you on 40 years of service and here's to another 40. Best wishes. My goal is nobody's is going to get hurt as long as I'm around. You know, whether I'm just a regular firefighter or officer level, everybody comes home. When the instructor told us that 70% of the fire departments in this country are volunteer, um, I'm a member of the department and that number even surprised me, so I shouldn't be surprised when, you know, members of the public at large are, uh, don't understand that, you know, a volunteer firefighter 
is every bit what you know what a career firefighter is. So we're going to present uh, an award here, and due in large part to the recipient of this next award, our community has been treated to a very unique perspective of just how real what a volunteer firefighter does is, and has been instrumental in providing a ton of positive publicity for the department. Understand that we do not do what we do for glory. We don't do it for a pat on the back. But the more people who understand what a volunteer department is actually all about, the more people might be willing to donate a couple more dollars, or even time in the form of membership. And that is vital to the future of our department as we strive for another 40 years and beyond. And on a personal level, this individual has been an amazing mentor to me, and largely because of his excellent advice and willingness to share his years of experience with me, I personally have been able to pursue more writing opportunities over the last six months than I had in my entire life prior to seeking his counsel. And for that, I say thank you. So on behalf of the East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company number two, it is my honor and my privilege to present this award of appreciation to Dick Cunningham. Thank you, everybody. And that's the show. So, DJ, music, have a good time. Thank you all for coming out. And that's our, our show for tonight. Uh -huh.